So uh, we're going to get started doing some probability computations uh, on our data set. So the first thing you'll need to do is go download the uh, source code and then you'll want to uh, unzip it, make sure that you unzip it and then put it somewhere. And if you go inside, uh, I have a ton of CSV files and uh, the main data set that we're going to be working with is this flights.csv and it has a little over half a million uh, US domestic flights from the year 2017 and uh, that's a kind of that's what we're going to be working with and it has all kinds of information about the flights um, the origin city origin state a destination city destination state the flight ID the airline uh, the distance of the flight the arrival departure the expected arrival departure and the actual arrival departure time uh, and uh, the time in the air and all other kinds of information in fact you can read all about the information in this readme.csv, uh, it shows you what all of the different uh, columns are as well as what they actually uh, mean. And uh, just for your curiosity, I have all of the information about airport codes, the airline codes, uh, codes about uh, weekdays, and as well as there's some uh, terminology, there's a CSV sheet of terminology as well in case you're unfamiliar with, uh, you know, flight terminology. I certainly am not too familiar with it, so I had to read through this uh, as well. So uh, please use all of these CSV files I have to your advantage so you get a better under understanding uh, of the uh, data set. But, uh, so let's, let's get started. And uh, so we're going to need to make sure we have the right environment and then launch an instance of Spider. And then I actually already have one running. And I'm just going to save this as uh, probability.py inside of the same folder that houses the uh, CSV files as well. All right, so now we can get started, and we're going to do some basic. We're going to do some basic probability computations. So I'm going to import pandas first. We're going to be needing that, uh, and then I'll just load in the data using pandas. So flights equals pd. read uh, CSV flights dot CSV index call equals false, and then immediately we're just going to drop. Uh, we're going to drop values that we're not going to need. We're going to drop any null values or not a number. Some There are some, uh, but we just don't want to deal with them in our probability computation. All right, so let's, uh, I'm going to write in comments the probabilities that we're going to be computing uh, so that we get a better idea of how we can actually compute them. All right, so let's start by computing that the, pr the probability that with no other information, you just pick a random flight from the year 2017, what was the probability? What is the probability that the flight uh, started in California? So I'll just use a full code. So, what is the probability that the flight started in California? Well, if you go back to our definition of probability, we're going to have to compute the uh, number of flights whose origin state is California. Take the sum of all that, and then divide by the number of total flights uh, overall. So we can do that. So num flights in uh, CA equals, we can do flights, the, the uh, column we're looking for is origin state name, so I get all the flights whose origin state name is California, and I'm going to take the sum of all those, so this will give me all the flights that started in California. Now I need to get the total flights, and that's also pretty easy to do really. Um, we can just do something like length of uh, flights, so I'll just do len flights, and this just counts up the number of rows, and that's the total number of flights, and that's all that there is. So this is the uh, probability, so we can just print out uh, the, this probability, so we can just say print uh, this is equal to dot format, we just divide these two uh, numbers, so I can just say this divided by uh, total flights here. All right, so this tells me, so let's actually run this and see uh, the results here. So, okay, so after we run this, we said that the probability that any given flight started in the state of California is about 13%. Now, that might, so I just happen to pick California off the top of my head, uh, but let's get a full probability distribution for every state. So, in other words, for every state, I want to compute the probability uh, of that the flight started in that particular uh, state. So I want to, so I want to know um, the number, the probability that a flight started in New York, in California, in Wyoming, 
in Texas, and, and so on and so on. So I want to compute the probability that a flight started in X for all states X. And then we can maybe do something like uh, take a max operation and then figure out, you know, just looking at all the flights that happened past year, which was the most probable in terms of which state you were leaving. So uh, we can do that, but what we're going to have to do is perform an aggregate operation. I need to do a group by operation and then get the size of each uh, group. So I can do that uh, as well, but uh, what I'm going to leave as a bit of a challenge for you guys is to uh, write down the line of code uh, that would run a group by operation on this origin state uh, name. So you'll need to use the group by function in pandas to, to do that. So uh, just go ahead and do that, and we'll be right back with the answer. Okay, so uh, we'll need to use, well, so let's call this something like flight states equals flights.groupby and then origin state name. So now we've grouped our flights by the state. Now what we need to do is count up the number of flights uh, in each state. So this is kind of like doing the sum operation uh, here. So we can do that. We'll say num flights per state. And uh, there's actually a convenient function uh, for pandas that you might be aware of, which we just call dot size will give us the uh, number of flights in each group. Because since I'm grouping the flights by the state, I just need to basically run a count operation on each of those groups, and that's what size does here, instead of having to use something like an apply function. All right, so now I have the counts, but I have the raw counts. Now what I need to do is actually divide by the total number of, of flights. And so I can do that just by running a simple apply operation. So uh, I can do, uh, so I can actually just print this, or I should probably save it because we, we might be able to want to do a max operation on it. So I'll just say flight state probability is going to be the num flights per state. And what I'm going to do is apply a function to this. And this is Again, a lambda function. So, in other words, the code that I'm going to write here is going to be applied to each group. So, num flights. So, I just want to take each of the number of flights in the state. So num flights. I'm just going to divide that by the total flights number. So, this is a single number. I'm just taking each one of these groups and dividing it by total flights. That's all that this is doing. And then we can print this out just to see. Uh, we'll print this out to see the distribution of each uh, of each will get a, of every state will get a probability of what is the likelihood that if you just pick any random uh, flight from uh, the year 2017 what is the likelihood that it that the origin was in this state so let's run this okay so now we get you know information uh, here so we can see that you know if you just pick any random state uh, Massachusetts the probability that any one flight whose origin was in Massachusetts was is about two percent. You know, and again we see here a number here about thirteen uh, percent in California, for example. But uh, let's get with the max. Uh, let's go with the max data. So I can do that. I can just say print. Uh, we can just say print the maximum. I'll just go. I'll just say print max, and uh, that will give us the maximum value. But I want it to. Uh, whoops. I want to know which state that actually is, so I can print that out as well. I'm going to comment this out. So let me run this. All right, and we see that it turns out that California is actually the most likely state of your origin. So if you pick a random flight in the past year, then uh, odds are it's most likely that the state was in California, although that probability, again, is quite still quite small. It's only about 14%. Uh, percent. All right, so this just kind of introduces us to some performing some basic probability, uh, computing some basic probability using uh, pandas and the different operations uh, there. So just to recap where you can find the documentation for pandas, you go to pandas.pydata.org and click documentation. Uh, there's a ton of documentation uh, if you need to refresh uh, your memory on how to work with, uh, work with pandas here. So that's uh, all we're going to uh, do uh, in this video. So we just learned about some basic, how to perform basic probability operations using Pandas.